What's going on everyone? It's time for another show review. Today we're going to be talking about, well last night, November 2nd, 2022, I went and saw Guar in Toronto at the Phoenix Concert Theatre with Necrogoblicon and Crowbot. So let's talk about it. So, the Phoenix Concert Theatre is like an average sized club where, um, yeah, most I reviewed a couple shows that happened there already. And so, yeah, let's get to the band. So Crowbot opened this show. They were like a hard rock, acid rock sort of type of band. They're a little different than I was expecting them to be. The vocalist had some pretty interesting dance moves and was very energetic and stuff. And uh, they had fun with it. They're definitely like the misfits of the tour. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but they, uh, they had some interesting groove sort of like riffs and things like that. And uh, overall, they were entertaining to watch. It wasn't really my type of music, but it was still an amusing watch and definitely something different uh, than I was expecting. So um, I thought they were OK as a band. Uh, it wasn't too much. They only played for like a half hour, so it wasn't too bad. So I'm going to give Crowbot a two and a half out of five. Uh, then there's Necrogoblicon. They're a weird, almost genty metalcore type band. They had some he slower songs, some heavy songs, a good variety. And uh, they, they're definitely a bunch of misfits up there playing. And uh, yeah, they have their iconic John the Goblin up there dancing and acting silly and stuff. Uh, one of their best songs is I think it's, I think it's called Just, but Just Like Goblins, which is a really heavy pummeling song, and I really enjoyed that one. And uh, it was really wild and stuff. There's fun. They have fun little antics and different stuff, and they always sing about weird, interesting, and odd stuff. Um, they were pretty fun. Uh, this was my second time seeing them. I saw a bit of them at a festival before, so um, this one was. Uh, actually a pretty fun show and they actually have uh an interesting set the only thing is i, w I wish they go a little more diverse and push their skills a little bit more maybe in the future but uh for the most part they're still an entertaining act so i'm gonna give necrogoblicon a three and a half out of five and then guar headlined obviously they're that space age uh <laughs> one this is the third time i've seen guar this year <laughs> and, uh, yeah so um but uh they're uh Basically, a bit. I think they're actually originally from Indiana, but uh, they're aliens from another planet stuck on Earth, and they uh, play music to get a <laughs> past the time and stuff, and kill people and things. They have a uh, whole theatrical stuff going on. They tons of fake blood and decapitations and all that, and a lot of good stuff. They had Putin. They killed off Putin. They killed off um, Trump and Biden <laughs> and the. All those guys, and uh, they had a lot of fun um, doing it too. Uh, there's a, like I said, there's a lot of blood. There's a lot of big monsters and stuff that come out as well. They had their iconic big monster from another dimension and stuff. Um, it wasn't as crazy as the first time I saw Guar. That was a wild show way back in like, I think it was like 2016 or something. I saw them with Ghoul, and that was probably the best Guar show I've seen. And I saw them in Napalm Death back in. In April, and uh, that was a really good one. This one's still pretty decent. Um, they played a lot of their good song hits and stuff. The new album's really good too. Uh, the Dark Ages or whatever. That one's actually a pretty good, a lot of good songs on that. So I picked that up at that show. And overall, it was a lot of fun. Um, to what you'd expect from Guar, and uh, it was quite the one. And they definitely had some ragers this time, like a lot of heavy stuff and that. They didn't really play very much of the classic stuff off of like America Must Be Destroyed, which is my favorite Guar album, but um, it was still a lot of fun. So I'm going to give Guar a four and a half out of five. So overall, the whole show is about a four out of five, I'd say. And it was a lot more fun than I was expecting. So yeah, definitely check out all the bands I just talked about. Um, they'll all be linked down below, and also make sure you check out my Instagram and TikTok that's linked down below. That's where I have pictures and videos of all the bands and stuff on there, so make sure you check that out. Follow me on there, and like, like everything, and I, yeah, don't forget to subscribe for more concert reviews and other things, and, uh, like this video, and, um, yeah, but that's it for this one. Next show I'm going to, I think, is The Offspring with Simple Plan in Toronto, November 7th at the ACC or at Scotiabank Arena. So yeah, make sure you uh, either 
tune in for that one or if you see me there come by and say hi no what not and uh yeah don't forget to support the bands you like buy their music uh, buy the merch go see them live and uh keep the live music around so yeah but until the next one rock on